Let me show you exactly how I caught this 1 to 50 risk reward trade using smart money concepts. Prosperity family, thank you all for being here. I have to tell you guys before I start this video that what I'm about to share in this video is by far the most value I've shared on YouTube for free. So please, before we get into this video, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. It can be anything, just some level of support. Help us boost the algorithm so that I stay motivated to do this. Because guys, what I'm about to share with you is extremely, extremely valuable. Take a notepad, take a pen. You are going to want to make notes on what I have to share with you today. So, what is it you first want to do to get involved in a trade? Because guys, we're about to go over a 1 to 50 risk to reward trade and how to get involved in it. So what do you need to know first? Step number one, you need to establish your directional bias. What I mean by that is you need to know what direction are the banks taking the markets. And so to understand this, we need to go to higher timeframes. We need to go to higher timeframes. And to go to these higher timeframes, you simply just go up here and select the higher time frames. you can see very clearly the order flow, which is the external swing points of the market at this point in time are bearish. So we know that the market is going down. We know that the banks want to take these prices lower. What we now need to know is where do they want to take them lower from? So we can see the last leg down which is internal structure. It came from here. So we're working from this high to this low. We need to pull up a Fibonacci retracement from the high to the low because we need price to pull back 50%. When price has pulled back 50%, which is this line right here, we can start getting ready for price to give us the signs to go and take out the lows down here. And so that is when we're going to be ex executing some very nice short positions, which is what we're about to do right now. We can very clearly see that we have an order block right here on the four hour time frame that price has perfectly reacted to. So we need to get more information and more clarity on what's happening on the lower time frames because we are going to be executing this position on the one minute time frame. Down to the 30 minute time frame, guys. On the 30 minute time frame, we need to get more clear on what's happening internally. What is the structure doing and where can we get involved? So again, just highlighting our four hour order block is right here, which you can see price reacts to. Okay, so how do we actually get involved in this move? Well, let's start with the low, the high, the higher low. This high right, this low right here is higher than the previous low. So it looks like price is trending upwards. Price is moving up. Higher high. Price is trending up. Retail traders are looking at this market. They're expecting price to go up. What does price do? Higher low. This low right here is higher than the previous one. And then again, higher high. So price is making bullish price action until we tap into our order block exactly where the banks have their orders in the market. From here, what do we see? We see a break of structure. This break of structure confirms to us that we have hit the point in the market where the market is reversing. We are getting our reversal. Now, we are ready to get involved into short positions. But first, we need to know where are we getting involved from. What can we see? We know now that price is bearish. Price is no longer bullish, so we are no longer looking for buys. We are waiting. What are we waiting for? 
we are waiting for price to enter our 30 minute order block which it does you can see price trends its way up it builds liquidity where the retail traders will have their stop losses why will they have their stop losses because they look at this as a point of support price taps in once again again and again and so retail traders are looking at this level expecting price to go up from here the banks make their moves manipulating price straight through the support level confusing retail traders taking some of them out tagging some of the sellers into the market just throwing them off before they make their major move price again has a level of resistance a double top relatively equal highs this is resistance perfectly just before our order block so we know that right now retail traders are getting trapped in the middle of the market just before the banks start to execute their real intention that is exactly what we want to see as smart money traders we want to see retail traders getting trapped because we know then the banks have an intention we know when we see retail traders getting trapped that something is going on and we are in the right place at the right time as price taps into our order block i want to drop down more to the 15 minute time frame we can see now a change of character a shift from demand to supply demand coming in supply coming out more supply than demand more sellers than buyers more sell orders than buy orders which means only one thing price is going down we leave behind a very very nice order block right here on the 30 minute time frame which is again an internal break of structure point right after the change of character price comes back up ranges and then initiates what do we have perfect amounts of imbalance in here perfect we have imbalance we have we have our order block we have our target if we just zoom out for one minute and understand that if this low right here fails to break this high up here this is a weak low it fails it doesn't take out the high this is a strong high because it breaks an important low this is a weak low because it fails to break an important high we now know the price is going to come and take out this low and so we know we need to get involved in a trade and we're going to trade it and ride it down to this low now we just need to get into the trade we have our 30 minute order block set we're going to come now to the one minute time frame we just need to see a change of character you can see what as price makes its way back up to our poi the one minute is bullish we tap in we have this shift we have a big sell side shift here is our change of character or some may even say here but essentially it's the demand zone that puts in the high that gets broken by the supply we have our one minute order block this is where we are going to take our entry from and target all the way down here to our 15 minute swing low but guys let's see how big the stop loss on this position is it's five pips damn it's too big okay in scenarios like this personally if the wick is larger than the body i'm happy to take 50 percent of the zone 2.6 pip stop loss you might want to have your stop loss maybe a little bit higher just in case you have spread i personally have zero spread brokers so i'm okay amazing now we know where we want to get in the market and we know where we want to get out the rest is just a waiting game if we are correct we are making a lot of money if we are incorrect we are losing a small amount it's a great risk to reward let's see how price plays out price tags us into our trade 
price has a break of structure. This is the low right here that put us in. It's a great sign. Now we can go to higher time frame, stop loss at break even, and wait to see if we hit our full take profit down here for 1 to 50 risk to reward. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to know exactly how to do this step by step, go down into the description, check the link right there for our course or our community and find out exactly how to do this for yourself. I'll see you inside the academy. Peace.